Well, hello there, vlog. Long time no see. <sighs> it's January. No, let's be honest. It's the end of January. And I'm finally getting a chance. Ooh. <laughs> I am uh, finally getting a chance to do a mini vlog. Honestly, I don't even know if this is going to end up turning into a vlog or not. But I am heading out to a couple of to a couple of errands today. I just need to go to <laughs> And someone is calling me. <laughs> yes, a little known fact. My ringtone is the theme song to Game of Thrones. So, thumbs up if you are a Game of Thrones fan. Anyways, what was I saying? I have to go to Dollar Tree to um, pick up a few items and I need to go to Aldi's because I have absolutely no food in the house whatsoever. I shouldn't say that. I do have food. Let's be honest. I do have food in the house. I really do. It's just that I don't have like meat. I don't have some staples. I'm out of coffee. I'm out of coffee creamer. So I can't even have a cup of coffee. That's how bad the situation is in my house. It is freezing here today in central New York. 20 degrees Fahrenheit my car is saying and I don't know what that converts to in Celsius if you do leave it in the comments below let everybody else know what that equals out to in Celsius because I always failed at that metric system like I never the metric system never took here in the US <laughs> it's like when I was in school <clears throat> Comment below if this was you. When I was in school, like in middle school, and they were trying to teach us like the centimeters, you, you wanna do centimeters now and not inches, and meters and not feet, and kilometers instead of miles, and they fought really hard to teach everybody this metric system and they were like it's gonna be easier everything's in tens it's like no it's not because I know what an inch is <laughs> right I'm digressing about the metric system I know so I guess I'm gonna pop off here for now I'll check in with you guys I don't know maybe when I'm inside one of the stores and uh, do a little vlogging inside the stores <laughs> Not really finding anything new this week at the Dollar Tree. Not even in the snack aisle, like. So I think it's gonna be a small haul this week. Oh, so I just finished up at the Dollar Tree and for, not saying that there was a lot in there, spent $22 at the Dollar Tree. Here, let me put you here. Let me put you here while I, while I pack the car. So I have to put all this in the front seat so I can do a Dollar Tree haul. Yum! Oh, moving away from all of the cars that are parked around here. So I can hurry up and do this Dollar Tree haul and then go to Aldi's and pick up my groceries. So I'm actually going to take off my coat. I don't like to have my coat in the videos for some reason, but it, and it's freezing in here. So I'm going to get right to the cut and record the Dollar Tree haul. Okay. Whew. Done with Aldi's. And now... I think I'm gonna take a quick ride out to Bath and Body Works, but I'm not, here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure the store is still open in the mall that I was gonna go to because that's, 
this one mall that's up by me it's called the great northern mall there's like hardly no stores left in there it is becoming a ghost town so i think i have to pop on my phone here before i get on the highway and make sure that the bath and body works is still open there but anyways i wanted to tell you guys i got a little bit of a story time for you uh of what happened at aldi's so after i left you guys in the car i got out to go to the cart area and as i was walking across the thing i noticed that there was a lady an older lady there and she was struggling with the carts you know she was struggling with putting the quarter in and stuff like that and like literally three people kind of went up and like grabbed a cart next to her and like didn't even help her like just went into the store and i was just like really so I went up to her and I said, are you having a problem? Is there something I can help you out? You know, is, can I help you with this? And she's like, oh, thank you so much. Um, she actually just got out of the hospital recently from having a stroke. She couldn't see too well. And what she did was she put the quarter in the cart, like not the cart that she should have, but she put the quarter in the cart, the next cart up so she couldn't pull it out and the carts were getting stuck together so i helped her push it in took out the quarter put the new quarter in where she where it needed to be helped her out helped her get into the store and stuff like that and i was just like she's like oh thank you so much it's tough getting old and i was like yeah i'm right there with you you know <laughs> she's like oh you're not old you're you're probably the same age as my daughter and i was like yeah and i, so I told her how old i was and she's like that's how old my daughter is and so long story short of it is come to find out I went to high school with her daughter <laughs> and um, I, I didn't know her know her but like I was in the uh, pit band for a lot of the plays and she was always a singer and an actress and evidently she's an actress in New York City and her husband's like a producer so I'm like, wow, that's really cool to know that. So she's like, what's your name again? So she's going to make sure she told, she tells her daughter that she met me in Aldi's and I helped her out. So anyways, I just thought that was a cute story because it was like me. I felt good because it feels good when you go out of your way to be kind to somebody. And for me, especially today, it really hit me because I witnessed, I was witness to three other people literally looking past this lady and not wanting to help her. I know it was something small. I know it was something that was like put a quarter in an Aldi cart, but she needed that help. And... She, I mean, she was driving and everything. I was kind of shocked. I'm like, wow, you had a stroke and you're out of the hospital and driving and stuff. And, um, But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys. I wanted to fill you guys in on that story. So I'm going to check back with you in a minute because I need to pull off to the side of the road here and find out if Bath & Body Works is indeed open at this mall. Hello. So update is supposedly... The Bath and Body Works is still open here. I don't know. This place looks like a ghost town. But we're going to run in, uh, go in, get the few things that we need to get, and get home so I can put away these groceries and have some lunch because I'm starving. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like a ghost town. <laughs> Old Navy is still open. Claire's is still open. Let's see which way is Bath and Body. I think it's closed. I don't think Bath and Body's here. Oh, it is. I see it. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is a cute place. Look at how look at all these stores that are closed. Ooh, it's a comic book store. Yeah.
<clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Teeters. How are you? Jeepers. Did you miss me? Sit. Sit like the big boys. Oh, you're gonna stand? Can you sit like the big boys do? Sit. Oh, you're gonna stand? <laughs> oh, you're a good boy. Did you miss me? Did you miss mommy? Here's your deuter fix. Deuter fix for the vlog. What are you climbing on me for? Okay. What are you doing? You do a psycho puppy? Are you gonna show him psycho puppy? Come on, psycho puppy. <laughs> oh dear, so I just got home from my Aldi's trip and picked up a few groceries. Nothing majorly exciting at all. Just some K-Cups, bagels, ramens, ham, cheese, chicken sausages, some taco seasoning, grapes, uh, vanilla almond milk, some cheese, shredded cheese, hamburger buns, bananas, eggs, um, almond milk creamer, Hamburger, and I got this. This looks really good. This thin crust pizza that I'm gonna have sometime that looked really good. So I'm gonna put this away and maybe grab some lunch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just I was just looking at my ice machine and it was like blinking and stuff and I was thinking that something was wrong with it. Quickly want to give you the recap story for my trip for my trip to Bath and Body Works. So anyways, I go into Bath and Body Works to look for leaves scented candles. And so you saw that I was doing some of the vlog footage inside of Bath and Body Works and then the lady came up to me and was like, can I help you? <laughs> I don't think she liked the fact that I was video recording. So I said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just vlogging. But I do have a question for you. I said, I don't see any leaves candles. And she's like, yeah. Um, I said, tell me you're not getting rid of them. She goes, oh no, she goes, they're just out of stock until the fall. They're a fall scent. So once they run, once the stores run out of their current stock, they do not replenish them until, she said, usually August. <sighs> so for those of you who have gone online and have tried to buy a leaves candle, you're not probably not going to find it. It's going to say out of stock because I tried looking. <laughs> My lunch was, I had leftover pizza, was not that exciting and dinner tonight. I had my lunch so late that I really didn't have dinner because I wasn't hungry. So I may just have a little snack. I'm getting ready to watch the rest of, I've been watching The Arrow. I've been catching up on old old seasons of The Arrow. Uh, this is a CW like comic book hero TV show that I enjoy. So I think I'm just going to watch a couple of episodes of that and um, hit the hay. So I am going to end this vlog today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm going to chat with you whenever my next vlog is. Bye, guys.